I'm out here today at Scudamus Circuit where there's a big dirt trial rally event going on. But the real reason I'm here is because, unfortunately, Morita Sun's workshop uh, caught fire the other week and completely burned to the ground. So here's the story time. I was at home on Saturday and I get a message from my friend John, who you would have seen before in one of the videos. Uh, he drives the uh, really slammed Corona. This is what he sent me. No context, no words, but you know, you don't need to say anything. I know what's going on. I tried to call him on Instagram because I don't have his number. Uh, the signal around here is really bad though, so I didn't connect. And I thought, okay, I need to call someone. Obviously not gonna call Morita because he's gonna be busy. Uh, I look on Instagram stories to see who else is at the same track day here at Scudamore. I find someone who I know. I call them up, say, please give the phone to John. I've talked to John, what's going on? He's like, uh, the whole place is on fire, the fire brigade is spraying it down. Can you see my A86, which is kept here and pretty close to where the fire was? And he said, oh, I can't really see it. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna get in the car and come over there as soon as I can. Uh, there's not much I can do, but if you happen to be able to see the 86, can you please take a photo and send it to me? In the meantime, I'm seeing pictures and videos like this uh, on Twitter and Instagram of just the whole place going up, the flames going all the way to the top of the trees behind the workshop. Uh, then John sent me this photo, which showed the rear of it, the bean still exists, or at least the rear half of it does. Well, we'll get to that soon. This is out back of the shop, the little forest area behind. Uh, that caught fire pretty badly too. Now the fire apparently started around here somewhere. There was some, like, we don't actually know why it started exactly, but it did. It started at the back here. And as you can see, it burned all the way up into the trees. I can't quite show everything that's left here because of reasons, but you know, there's the pit from the, uh, the lift. Like, there's nothing left. I was driving up here expecting the worst. You know, I've already lost uh, a JZX100 to a shop fire. The Drift Games guys lost their entire place. You know, the place we visited a couple of videos back, that's all gone too. Uh, there's been too many fires recently and I was just kind of like, well, however, whatever you know, situation is there when I get there, it'll be what it will be. And when I arrived, the uh, fire brigade was just, just, putting out the last of it. They covered everything in foam. It was all, you know, th luckily there's a big hose here, uh, big mains here that they could draw from and I guess try and at least protect the cars that were around it. And uh, this is how the beans ended up. A bit melted, but it's still alive. Not even the devil wants it. So here's how close it got to the fire. Look, the parking lights all melted. This is all melted around here, the bumper. This is all like melted almost down to the ground. Headlights are a little bit blackened here. And the middle of the bumper is uh, sort of sagging down a bit, you can see there, from the heat. Oh yeah, these two, this is a shame. Melted over here too. Melted, but as you can see, it survived. Which is very lucky. And if you're wondering about the engine, uh, there we go. Nothing really happened. It obviously got hot, but I don't know. I mean, some of these hoses, like there's still coolant in there, but uh, otherwise untouched. It looks like oh, look, the horns got a bit uh, scorched there as well. I know you want to see it start, but that's the other trick. All the keys were kept in the workshop. Uh, the workshop obviously burned to the ground. Couldn't find half the keys. So what he did in order to get this moving was see that uh, see that Altezza over there? Remember, this is a Beams engine. It has all the Altezza parts on it. He took the key barrel off that car instead of like just breaking this one. Changed the key barrel, so we now have a new <laughs> Altezza key uh, for the Beans. The juice box sticker is peeling off a bit. Yeah, like he didn't have to do that, but I just think he didn't want to have to break the the key barrel. Right, let's see if it'll start. Okay. There you go. And the indicators are still broken, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, a little bit rough, 
but uh, it's alive, thankfully. Yeah, looks like we've got the indicator problem back. Oh, but look, it's alive, that's uh, good enough for me. So I finally arrived here, had to blag my way past the policeman saying, oh, I'm a concerned party in the fire. And I get here and the car's just sitting there like that, you know, that meme, like, this is fine, like that. It was just sitting there like that. And I'm like, oh, it looks okay. Maybe we can still drive it. Turns out it should be fine. I don't know. I don't know if I trust the front tires. They've been kind of scorched by the fire, but it's kind of okay. So I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. What I'm not too happy about is all the other cars that Morita lost. I think about nine, eight or nine, maybe burned in total. Uh, there was some inside, like, and right out front too. Like, that, that thing burned hot. It just took cars out front. Like, look at this over here. He's got the, um, his, like, work van, which is sort of parked up the front. Like, a fair way from the front of the shop, but, like, it's all melted. Like, look at the front. It's like the consistency of a shopping bag. Like, headlights melted. Cows all melted. You can see the, the laminated windscreen sort of came apart, like, the center laminated section the mirror bubbled up also this van too was parked nearby it's all melted and this one too the rear view mirror kind of bubbled out it's kind of weird the uh, the d1 grand prix 86 survived but look at this it was parked so far from the front and the polycarbonate window also took a bit of heat so everything inside the workshop completely gone, all the tools, everything just completely gone. Uh, another sad thing was right next to it there were these two big uh, like shipping containers which were full of wheels, tires and also parts including a lot of A86 parts too which is kind of a shame they all, most of them burned up, there's not really a whole lot left. Here's one funny thing, um, he's got one of these US Marine like transport things and it was sitting right out front, fine. So there, there you go, they are fireproof. And the rest of it is just all, you know, like these are all the parts inside the, the container. Just whatever's left over. It's not a whole lot. We've just sort of been going through seeing if there's been anything, you know, usable, but uh, yeah, not really. So we've just been going through all the leftover bits and pieces to see if there's anything you can sell, just to get a bit of cash going in the meantime. I was speaking of that too, this is kind of sad. Remember the Gunsai video where we went drifting with Morita in the A86? Well, this is what happened to that. That's the uh, Tofu replica gone. Yep, that's pretty gone. But yeah, pretty much everything left in the shop is uh, just scrap metal now. And it got hot enough to melt whatever this used to be. So what's going to happen now? Well, the reason I kept the beans here was because, basically, because Morita was here. Like, he's an A86 guy. The car suits this track, so it was kind of a good idea. And also, back then, when I bought the car, I didn't have the workshop like I do now. We're just going to take it back to the workshop. I think that's the only thing we can do for now. I don't know. We'll just maybe give us a chance to work on the beans a bit and make it a bit cleaner and nicer. Fill up the holes in the floors maybe. I don't know. And just be happy about the fact that it didn't burn to the ground. Also, because Morita Sun has helped me so much over the past few years, I want to help him out too because he did lose absolutely everything. I know this is kind of the stereotypical thing to do when it comes to this sort of thing happening, but I'm going to make a beans shirt and give all the profit to him. I think it's the least I can do. Anyway, long story short, the beans just barely missed out on being burnt to a crisp, which is nice that that didn't happen. I'll tell you a funny story. There's a thing in Japan called Yakudoshi, which is, uh, it's sort of related to your birth year, and certain years are considered to be extremely unlucky, like that year and the two years around it. Funnily enough, uh, those three years were probably the three worst years of my life when it came to luck, health, uh, fortune and things like that which so yeah it kind of actually worked out and you know I'm not one to believe in like horoscopes and stuff like that but all so much bad stuff happened I thought no I'm gonna go to the local shrine and get um, it translates as exorcism it's literally just like a it's an exorcism of bad spirits and I did it uh, it seems to have worked <laughs> the car survived the fire so I don't know maybe luck is looking up I hope so 
Anyway, that's all from today. Uh, next time, maybe a bit more fun uh, video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Kate Joy, I need a new sticker, please. <laughs>